Yes, yes, guys, this is Ninny Last, and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be doing is some of the news that is regarding Black Ops 3. Now, let us start off with the elephant that is in the room, and that has got to be skill based matchmaking. And that has been confirmed from Dan Burton, and it has been removed from Black Ops 3. Now, this is great news. I can hear the cheers all the way around the world that this is finally, finally gone. Now, we had a lot of problems with it with Advanced Warfare, not in regards to actually having to play with people against your own skill level, but also trying to actually find games is a huge, huge problem. Because if you're a person at a certain tier, and there's not many people that are playing the game that are your kind of skill level, then trying to actually find a game, especially in less populated lobbies, it becomes a major, major issue. It really, really does. I mean, Team Deathmatch, you can kind of get away with it because it is the most popular of all the game modes. But once you start filtering down to some of the other ones, it is impossible to actually find a game. And skill-based matchmaking is a major, major problem with it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to find a lot more populated lobbies. You're not going to find it so hard to actually get a game, which is an absolutely, absolutely great thing that is going to be going on. But also, also, guys, let us be honest with this one as well. Well, you're going to go out there and get to trounce some noobs. And I'm sorry if you are new, but it is the way of the world on this one. The whole idea behind Call of Duty in itself is the fact you want to go out there and smash your opponent. You want to get mothership after mothership after mothership and absolutely decimate your opponent. You're only happy playing the game when you're destroying the opposition. It's never as much fun when they're fighting back. Let's be honest with it. We all like a little bit of a challenge, but, you know, the thrill and the fun in the game is getting all those high score streaks and, and everything else and raining death down on lots of people. So, for me, I'm really glad this is happening. I really, really do. It does make the game a lot more fun. I know they do look at on the other side of things that, you know... Other people that are jumping into the game, you know, maybe they should be given a bit of a chance and what else. But let's be honest, we've all learned the hard way. And especially when Christmas comes along, it is a lot more fun, I suppose. Because people that have jumped on the game since November, and then some people have to wait till Christmas. Those people have got a nice month head start. And when the Christmas newbies get on there... They get rained upon and it does help out uh, with a lot of fun and does help out with your KD as well. But also guys, looking on the other side of things is got to be the new game modes that we've been hearing about. Now these are the fun game modes. Obviously gun game is returning. That's absolutely massively popular. I'm really, really glad about that one. I'm not 100% the best of it at the best of times. But I know a lot of people like it. And I love going up against my mates and whatnot else. Having a laugh with it. And it is great fun. One in the chamber is apparently returning as well. Which sounds absolutely brilliant. Obviously with that one. Obviously if you miss a shot. Then you got to try and know someone trying to get a bullet back. Which makes it a lot more interesting. Sticks and Stones has been taken out. A little bit disappointed with that one. I don't really mind that one. I'm not the best at it, I've got to be honest. But I actually thoroughly enjoy it. So it'd be sad to see that one go if it has gone. But the biggest one that everyone is talking about is Stockpile. Now this one is one of the new games. Now this is a little bit of a hybrid between Kill Conferred, maybe Capture the Flag or something like that. And basically all you got to do is you go out there, you shoot someone. And as soon as you see those tags like in Kill Conferred, you collect it. But you have to actually take it to a hub. Now the good thing is is that they thought about this because what I was a little bit worried about when I first said about this is that whether the hub was going to stay in one place because then people just simply sit there camp out the hub and then shoot someone who's collecting all the tags just about before they're just about to jump in there but apparently it's on a rotational basis which is going to make it quite interesting whether it's going to be like hard point where you know exactly where the hub's going to rotate round to on a particular minute which would make it a lot more easier and then obviously people would then work it out and know where everyone was going to be going so it'd be interesting to see how they're working out like that i mean if it is completely random it's going to make it quite difficult especially if you run over to the hub it suddenly disappears then you've got all these tags and you now got to try and make all your way to the other side whether you actually keep all the tags once you've been shot like whether they appear all on the ground and your teammates can collect them all up and take them or whether they actually disappear or not i'm not too sure but it does sound quite interesting it sounds like a lot more fun it does sound like it's got to be quite strategically done if you're with your mates and you're playing online and whatnot, I was trying to protect each other, especially if someone's collected all the tags. But that one seems pretty good as well. But I'm glad to see a lot of these party games are actually coming back to Black Ops 3. And also with that free one, which I've done a previous video on as well, that sounds a hell of a lot of fun. I've seen a video on it. It does seem absolutely brilliant. It's just like a little obstacle course and whatnot else. So I'll be jumping on that one as well. But let me know, guys, about whether you're happy with all these new ones that are coming back. How happy you are about skill-based matchmaking. I don't 
think there's going to be too many groans out there about that one. I think everyone's going to be pretty much ecstatic that that one has finally been removed from this game. I think Black Ops 3 uh, and Treyarch and themselves got enough of the hint after Advanced Warfare. But leave it in the comment section below, guys, basically what you're thinking about all this. It'd be very, very interesting to hear from you guys. But coming up on my screen now, if you haven't already done so, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. There are lots of things on Black Ops 3 coming out. And also, guys, please drop a like on this video and support my channel. It'll be absolutely amazing. This is Nini Lass, and I'll catch you later.